At a time of climate change, we need beavers. Hi, I'm Madeline Cuff. I'm the environment reporter for the Eye, and I'm on my way down to Devon right now because something really exciting is happening in the Devon countryside. It's the return of a mammal that's been extinct since the 1600s. Beavers have been extinct in England for 400 years, but five years ago, beavers mysteriously reappeared in the wild right here on the River Otter in Devon. After a five-year study, DEFRA decided this August that these beavers could stay living in the wild. It's the first time any animal that's been made extinct in England has been reintroduced into the wild, and it's a landmark moment for conservation. Activists have been fighting for years to return beavers to the landscape in England. But they have faced opposition from farmers worried their dam building and tree felling activities will flood farmland. Derek Gow, a farmer turned conservationist, has been at the centre of the long battle to allow beavers back into the landscape. He is slowly transforming his 300 acre farm in Devon into a rewilding hub. Here he breeds beavers, wildcats, water voles and storks for conservation projects across the country. Okay, my name is Derek Gow um, and we are standing in the middle of my rewilding experiment such as it is. So after the last ice age the beaver was the dominant land force. It was the animal in the environment of the big river valleys that through uh, creating impoundments in the valleys um, retained silts and, and turned them in time over into huge wetlands with many large reed beds, channels, complicated environments where our ancestors as, as Mesolithic or Bronze Age hunters would enter in the hope that they were going to be able to, to catch some of the large game species, perhaps like beavers, but also like moose or wild boar or wild cattle that existed there. But that was approximately 12,000 years ago. As far as we're aware, the last records of beavers in, 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 in England are in the late 1700s, um, 1789, um, you know, um, at a place called Bolton Percy um, near York, and after that there are no further records of this animal. So it's not here because we hunted them to extinction. Why is it important to bring the beaver back? Well, beavers are nature's water gardeners. We now know this very well. Um, they were an animal which, which in the lower river valleys, um, holds water, slows the flow, creates landscapes that are much more um, resilient against drought that, that capture by creating the impoundments, you know, huge amounts of, of silt and sediment and therefore, you know, creates fertile environments in lower river valleys that indeed in both in North America and Europe we still farm. Um, so at a time of climate change, we need beavers because their wetlands um, can retain a huge amount of, of carbon. Um, we need them because, you know, we're in a landscape that because we've over-engineered it is increasingly flood prone. And to do something about it, we need to change the countryside. We need to change the way it is. We need to stop farming right up to the edges of rivers. And we need to start restoring wetlands on a significant landscape scale, which are nature's natural sponges and beavers create these. So this is an, an, an animal architect which can help us to re-engineer the landscape to the point where there is a, a significant benefit for us. Derek's beavers live in a large enclosure. And after a night watching them play and swim in the lake, we set off to find Devon's wild population. We left Derek's farm and headed down to the River Otter to meet Jake Chant from the Devon Wildlife Trust. Jake has watched over the wild beavers in Devon for years, monitoring their impact on the surrounding landscape. My name's Jake Chant, I work for Devon Wildlife Trust and I'm the field officer on the River Otter Beaver Trial. In 2007, um, it's clear that um, there were feeding signs on the river um, and 2014, uh, a local enthusiast managed to get footage of beaver kits. So DEFRA found out about that footage and then it was clear that you had an increasing population of beavers in the River Otter and DEFRA weren't keen. So DEFRA wanted to remove all of the animals, but Devon Wildlife Trust, um, along with local communities, managed to persuade the government to, ha to have a five-year trial um, to, to assess the impacts that beavers would have in the area. And that's a partnership between us, between landowners such as Clinton Devon Estates, Ex University, and some beaver specialists, including Derek Gow and Rasheen Campbell Palmer. This is a really important period of time now. We're, we're having a, we've had a severe loss of biodiversity in the British Isles. So it's really important that we work to create habitats that, that attracts biodiversity and that creates biodiversity. It's really important also that we um, work to create landscapes that are more resilient. Um, 
lots of people are talking about climate crisis and future environmental and um, global climate change um, and beavers can help to deliver more flood resilient landscapes. They're really good at storing water at the top of catchments and slowing the flow of water after heavy rainfall events which can benefit flood prone communities. So now's a really good time to think about um, getting beavers back into the landscape. It's been five year long years to get these beavers the permission they need to stay living wild here on the River Otter. But it's really clear that this is really only the start of the journey of rewilding beavers back into the UK. But it's also really clear that beavers are really important for the future of the British countryside. They're going to be really crucial for helping prevent the flooding that climate change is going to bring, for restoring the biodiversity that's been lost over hundreds of years, and for improving the water quality and the soil quality from our farms, our rivers and our lakes. So it's the start of a long journey for the beavers, but it's an exciting one.